Oregon is marking one year since the outbreak of a wildfire crisis. On Labor Day 2020, a rare and powerful wind event triggered a series of massive fires across western Oregon. For weeks, we watched crews battle fires like the Beachy Creek, Riverside, Lion's Head, and Holiday Farm fires. For days, the Portland metro area was socked in with wildfire smoke, creating some of the worst air quality that we've experienced in living memory. In total, more than 1 million acres burned and a staggering 4,000 homes were destroyed. The rebuilding process has been going on ever since. Fox 12's Drew Reeves reports from Salem with more on those efforts. Well, here at the State Fair, a benefit concert is being held to help wildfire victims. $5 from every ticket sold tonight goes to the victims in North Saniam. And earlier today, we visited the town of Idana, where the community gathered, being together one year later. It is my belief we have only become stronger. For Oregonians who experienced the 2020 wildfires, the memories are still fresh. It, it definitely feels like yesterday, right? Um, and you can see some of the scarring uh, that's still around us. There are memories that won't ever fade and are triggered by new fires in surrounding areas. A lot of people up here still got PTSD. You know, I mean, people all over the internet up here just like yeah. freaking out. Smell smoke. Travis James and his wife were in Idana when the fires began. The two narrowly escaped the flames and falling trees with a flat tire. Eventually, they even had to hop in the back of someone else's truck. My pants caught on fire in the back of the truck from embers landing on my pants. The couple's home was spared from the fire, but was destroyed by sprinklers that were left running for nine days. James says it took months for progress to be made on rebuilding, mainly due to insurance. Our adjuster played hardball so bad for so long that we had contractors drag off of jobs because she wasn't you know, we, we wiped out our entire savings account to pay for these contractors. So then we had to sit around at the end and wait for checks to start coming back in. Despite the continued struggles, people in Idana and Detroit gathered today to celebrate their community. But folks just kept persevering and pushing forward, and it is a testament to the resiliency of this community. Some of the folks that I talked to up there told me that they are seeing therapists and still continue to feel the trauma of last year. The fire chief told me he thinks the community may never fully recover, but says that can be a good thing if it makes people more prepared in the future. Reporting in Salem, Drew Reeves, Fox 12 Oregon.